What podcast microphone should you use? Hi, I'm Emily Bender, the founder of Wealth Voice and Beetle Moment Marketing. I'm a voice marketing strategist and entrepreneur. I've had podcasts for over a decade, and I'm here to simplify this whole microphone question for you. Don't spend 20 hours on YouTube watching videos and reviews and all that stuff. Like, just simplify it. All you need to know is there are really three great choices, and they depend on how much of a hurry you are in. The first one is... Your phone, your iPhone or your Android are perfectly good mics, especially in a pinch, or to do a quick Wealth Voice broadcast onto a smart speaker. Just record a voice memo, drop it into Wealth Voice or your podcast app. That's it. Hold the phone at a 45 degree angle from your mouth for the best sound quality and see the link in the description for my blog post that has even more tips on exactly what settings to use on iPhone to improve the quality of the sound. The second mic I want to tell you about is the number one USB mic in the world. This is the Blue Yeti, and it's USB. So Mac friendly, PC friendly, easy to use, $99 price point. Tons of people on YouTube, Twitch streamers, podcasters use the Blue Yeti, and it sounds really good. I used it for many years on my podcast before I upgraded to this guy. And everything is linked in the description below with easy Amazon idealists so that you can get all of the gear you need. I'm not going to leave you hanging and just say, get the mic, because of course you need cables and you need a boom arm and you need other things. But don't spend 20 hours on YouTube watching videos and reviews and all that stuff. Like just simplify it. Use the links in my description. You'll be set. Okay. The SM7B. This is the mic that Joe Rogan uses, the number one podcast in the world if you've been under a rock. This is the mic that Michael Jackson recorded Thriller on. It's the Shure SM7B, and it's the gold standard. This is an XLR mic that's different from a USB mic. XLR is a different kind of cable, and it's requiring a little more equipment. This is $399 on Amazon. It is worth it. It's an investment, and you're going to sound really professional. Because it's an XLR mic, it's known as a quiet mic, this particular one, you need a little more equipment to increase the gain Think of it as increasing the volume. It records a little quieter than an average mic, but the quality is just so much higher. It even has a built-in pop filter. I really like this mic. I've been using it on my podcast for over six months now. I upgraded and I don't regret it, but you do need more equipment. You need a boom arm like this that's going to make the whole setup more ideal for video podcasting and just to get it kind of in the right place. I'm not using it on this video. I'm just using the iPhone mic because I wanted to do this quickly and just get it done for you. Um, done is better than perfect. That's why the iPhone is still a fine mic if you're just recording a quick voice broadcast. But anyway, with the Shure, you're going to have a boom arm and you're going to have XLR mics, male to female cables. I have linked those in the Amazon Idealist, link in description. And then you're going to get the Cloud Lifter and the Scarlet Focusrite. That's all the equipment I have there. You plug it into your computer. Works on Mac, works on PC. Works with GarageBand, works with Audacity. That's all you need to know. It's called a desk clamp. It clamps onto your desk. It needs to be thin. I have it on my countertop here just based on my setup. Get the desk clamp, clamp it to your desk. Then you're going to connect the microphone, the Shure, with this piece that comes with it to the clamp. The next thing is you need these male to female cords. Uh, I will link to them below. You need two of them, okay? Because there's going to be some more equipment here that I'll explain in a second. You need two of these. You can get them on Amazon. They're simple. They just, this is an XLR mic. It's not a USB mic. That's why you need these XLR male to female cords. Then you thread them through. They have these little Velcro connectors to make it easy and clean. You don't want your cords like out all. It's messy, right? You want it uh, tucked away. Here's where the rest of the magic happens. Okay. This is a debated topic about gain and cloud lifter and scarlet and all of this. I'm telling you the equipment I use that is getting the job done. I just want to make this easy for you. This is called the Focusrite Scarlet One, okay? Because it only has this one input. If you have two people on your podcast, you need the double. It's called like the duo. I'll put a link below. I just have this simple single one because I'm a single lady doing a single voice thing. Um, then when you plug it in, you'll notice that this little yellow light goes on. The red light will not be on until you hit it. Don't hit this light until you have already connected to your laptop because otherwise you can blow it out or burn it out. You don't want to hit this. This is phantom power. You hit it after you've already plugged into your computer. Okay, that gives you more volume. This is the gain button. Gain is sensitive. The Shure SM7B is a quiet mic. So 
you need to have a little gain, but you'll notice the more you turn up the gain, the louder it gets because it's so quiet. You need a little more volume. It's kind of a tricky thing. Don't turn it up too much though because then it's too sensitive and you hear all the air blowing and it's just, I have it here at like 25, I don't know what that is, 30. Just experiment, see what sounds good. That's all you really need to know about this thing. You plug in the male to female cord and in the back, you have your power cord, okay? And then the next part, there's like, it's an intermediary between the Scarlet Focus right and between the Cloud Lifter. This is giving you extra gain. It's like 30 extra decibels of gain, something like that. You get this because the Shure is so quiet, you need a little extra gain without distorting the volume and editing. This is the way it's set up. Okay, you've got the red, which has the XLR cable, which plugs into the blue cloud lifter. The cloud lifter XLR cable is the one that is connected to your microphone. Don't overcomplicate it. Just use my lists. Start with the blue Yeti. If you only want to spend a hundred bucks, it sounds really good. It's fine. If you've been podcasting for a while and you have the money to spend, get this. It's a beautiful microphone. It looks cool too, especially if you're doing video, you're just gonna, you're gonna look a little more professional, right? So that's the story with the mics. If you're interested in broadcasting onto the number one consumer device adopted faster than anything else, which is the smart speaker, make sure you sign up for a demo of Wealth Voice at wealthvoice.ai. It's a simple podcasting app that lets you broadcast onto any of 16,000 branded Alexa devices. And there's no competition on voice yet from a content perspective. Other than that, if you want to book a call with me, I offer consultations. Go to emilybinder.com slash call, and we can do 30 or 60 minutes, help you with your podcast or your voice marketing or any other marketing needs you might have. Thanks for watching, guys. Make sure you thumb this video up if you found it helpful. Comment below with any questions. I do my best to get back to everybody, and I will see you next time.